Welcome to the Marketing Automation Show. If you are a Mautic user, uh, I'm sure it happens to you that you have to wait for your Chrome jobs a really long time. Uh, certain background processes finish just after 15 minutes or 20 minutes or five minutes, depending on your setup. Um, I'm a huge advocate of the one minute Chrome job, which allows you uh, to run your Mautic in a lot faster pace. So actually everything happens every minute. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. This is the first part of the series where I'm looking ways to speed up segment creation, speed up campaign processing, and speed up email sending. You will also learn about the script which helps you to diversify the segment cron uh, in your Modic installation. So that means you will be able to decide which segments are running in what pace in the background. Let's dig in. Jobs, one of my favorite topics. Um, if you installed Mautic based on pretty much any guide, they recommended you to run the cron jobs separately from each other. So Mautic needs a couple of cron jobs to run. Um, there is a segment update, there is a campaign update, the campaign trigger, and besides that, probably some email sending crons. These are scripts which are timed. So most likely in every five minutes or every 15 minutes or whatever you set up, they are triggering actions in Mautic. So they are redoing the segments, then checking which contacts supposed to be in which campaign, they push them in there, uh, update the campaigns and send out the, uh, execute the campaign actions. So maybe even send out the emails. And you can have emails sent also with a separate cron job. It's a separate command. So if you, look at the Mautic documentation, you will see something like this, that it's very much uh, recommended that you keep your cron jobs apart from each other, those commands, to make sure that one is finishing before the next one starting. This is super important because if they overlap, they might cause some irreversible damage to your database or some other issues. So Monik is recommending to run the segment update every 15 minutes, uh, the campaign update as well, and the trigger as well. So the first one will update your segments, which means calculate who's supposed to be in what segment, like which contact. The second one will update uh, the, the campaign of these contacts. And the third one will actually execute the actions in the campaign. So add points in the campaigns, add tags, move to the next level and so on. So the challenge here is to set this up right that things are happening fast enough. Um, this is probably how your actual command looks like depending on where your Mautic install is. So in this case, it's just simply Mautic is in the HTML folder and we're running the segment update every 15 minutes. So if you are familiar with Chrome jobs, uh, Chrome settings, then you understand that this part here is saying that which minute of the hour this should execute and then every day every day of the week, you know, all the time. Basically, these other four stars saying that otherwise all the time these cron jobs should be running. So you see there is a five minute difference. So when you execute this, it will look like this. So this is one hour time. The segments are updated. Five minutes later, the campaign updated the trigger. So between two updates, there is actually 15 minutes. Yeah, That's what we set here, 15 minutes. So when you look at this, you can see segment update happens four times an hour. Everything happens four times an hour. So you can say that your heartbeat of Mautic is four per hour. And that's really, really, really slow. <laughs> I mean, even an elephant's heartbeat is better. So you should be really speeding this up. Um, if you would pull this in a 30 minute period, you could see that these actions actually don't take so long time. They don't take five minutes to run. Just Mautic in its, in its recommendations really wanted to be sure that executions are not overlapping each other. So this is what pretty, pretty much happens here. You run the segment update, then there is lots of waiting. You need a campaign update. There is a lot, a lot of waiting and so on. Okay, so the goal is, and I will make a series on this uh, uh, issue to help you to speed up your Mautic by at least 50 times uh, in comparison to previously. And I will exactly show you how with multiple scripts and, and, and things. 
these are actually actions you don't need if you are just a regular user. You are totally fine with a couple of measures to speed up your uh, Mautic. But if you want to have a really fast performing, very stable Mautic, then I recommend you to use some custom scripts, which I'm going to show you how to, how to get. So our goal is to have this here squeezed more together to make sure that these the scripts are running in a lot faster pace. So let's squeeze this time a little bit together and let's see what should happen within one minute. So if you if you want to reach a one minute uh, heartbeat, which I really think that we should have once a minute, then we can squeeze in all three commands. These are the commands which should not overlap each other. So, so we should squeeze them together within one minute. So first the segment update will run, then the campaign update and the trigger. So how do you do that? These updates would take really long time unless you limit them. So you can do this with a batch limit. You can squeeze together how much they uh, do at once. So this way you can make sure that not everything is happening at the same time. You don't have like 10 minute executions, but you just have always a one minute execution. And if you squeeze this together, you do many things, like you do many things within one minute, but not everything within one minute. But it's still good because you can, this way you can really um, squeeze together a bunch of actions in a very short time with absolutely no downtime. So you wouldn't have such a downtime between the executions, but it would be more like this, squeeze together very strongly. So you can actually achieve the one minute execution. So how do you do that? So we're going to do this by limiting how many, how big batches we are working on within one minute. So with the switches, you can make sure that you limit how much work gets done within one cycle. And this is what we're trying to do. We're not trying to do everything within one minute, but we're trying to get done as much as possible. And we run this command every minute. So there is work all the time uh, and a limited amount of jobs will be done. So we can use all these different, uh, from my head you don't see, this is email send at the bottom. You can use these first three for managing your campaigns. Import should be running in the background. If you limit it to 500, it will never happen that your uh, campaign is supposed to be running, but you're stuck with an import. This will slow down the import big time, but that's the trade-off you can, you can do in order to keep your campaigns running while you are doing an import. Broadcast send, I would limit to 300. I don't like to send fast. And I will make some tutorial also on super fast sending, but usually slow sending is better for your reputation and, uh, and email performance in general. And email send is also 300. So what is this, these last two are doing? So when you are sending an email and you time it in the future, then the broadcast send is the one which is gonna send it out in the future. So it's actually, if you have queued settings for your emails, then broadcast send will not send it, just put it in a queue, and mail send will be the one who actually sends it out. Okay, so there is a problem here. Uh, if you have a bunch of emails you wanna send out, and you have other things too, and you have this one minute cron job speed, yeah, um, then, uh, and if you have this one minute cron job frequency, then the problem is, that every minute you are updating your campaigns and triggering and everything. So your computer is super busy, your server is super busy with those tasks and there's no time to send emails. So what I would like to do is, I would like to take the mail send, the actual send a little bit separately. So what I would like to do is, I would separate it from the rest of the things and run it in such a way that it has priority if there are any emails in the queue. So what I would like to do is that we run our campaign update, seg uh, segment update and everything, import broadcast and so on. We run if there is no email waiting, but if there is email waiting, then we're focusing on the email and the campaigns actually stop. So this is good in most of the cases. If you have, uh, for example, um, form-based nurturing emails where you are like right away you want to send out something and that's you handling it from a campaign action. And this is not the best solution for that. But if you're just sending emails very rarely in larger amounts and you want to focus, then this is the best way to, to organize your Chrome jobs.
So there is there is one problem. This this is working great, but there is one problem in that moment when you have large segments. Then you will have an issue with the segments running just way too long time. And why is that? So let's talk about segmenting a little bit. Uh, why is it so important? Uh, because segments segmenting helps you to create groups of contacts of leads who you uh, can talk to you can grab them you can do something with them is your way to grab those that audience to define the audience and segments can be very different you can have tag based segments or you can have field based segments like for example someone has a, a tag or someone has a stage and you want all of those with the same stage in one segment and you want to communicate with them you have to recalculate this all the time but there are, th this is very simple the database can do it really fast but there are visit and email activity based segments so just imagine if you have a segment where you can you want to collect every contact who visited a certain page on your website you can do this with modic modic is great it can do it but it takes really long time because it will parse maybe all the anonymous users as well, anonymous uh, leads as well. So if you have 100,000 of those, it might run all the time in the background and has to parse each 100,000 contacts every minute. If you have a 15 minute heartbeat, that's fine too. <laughs> you can do this, but if you do what I said and you go for the one minute, this can cause a problem. So your segments should finish within one minute. Otherwise, they stuck up and sooner or later they will just uh, kill your server. So you have to make sure that the jobs what you are giving to your server can be done in certain time. So there are also campaign based segments where you're saying that based on campaign membership and those are super important. You need to recalculate them all the time. But there are segment based segments too. So you can say for example that I want to have people in this segment based on their segment membership. Uh, if you have something like that, that's going to give a big load on your server, these nested segments. They're super useful, but you have to be smart with about them. And maybe it doesn't make sense to recalculate them every minute. But we, we are doing a, a minute-based, uh, uh, every minute-based uh, uh, cron job here. So we created a problem for ourselves with that, but we can also solve it. So why is it a problem? Um, Let's say you have 10 segments with uh, tags and field based. Then you have three visit based segments. So you wanna check people who visited your uh, pricing page, who visited your contact us page, and you wanna target them differently. For example, you wanna show them a pop-up uh, and so on. This second one might be with lots of anonymous users. So you should make sure that you know, you don't have too many of those, but even three can be a lot, and I will explain you why. You have, let's say, just for the for the example, um, campaign-based segments five, and you have uh, two segment-based segments. So let's see an average Maltic website, okay? So you have 50,000 segment, uh, 50,000 leads, and this 50,000 uh, leads, it's an it's an average. So that can be that your tag-based uh, segment is just 5,000 campaign based segment maybe 30 or 60,000 segment based segment maybe just 20,000 but your visit and your email activity based segment that could be maybe 150,000 leads so that adds up together if you add this together it can be 1 million leads um, 1 million leads in the in the sense of how many calculations our segment has to do so in order to put this together, to recalculate these segments, we need 1 million uh, leads to look at, uh, even if you have an average of 50K. So that's why segmenting is super important and the timing behind the segmenting is especially uh, important. And you don't need all segments to run every minute. I know I told you, you should run everything every minute, but that's for those segments which are important. But how can you separate them? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to that in a moment. So um, there are some there are some segments which you want to update only uh, once a day, once an hour, and there are which you want to update all the time. Like for example, if you have a, a visit based segment, it's okay if you update it like once a day. 
and then you have all the campaign actions performing after the after the update that's totally fine so this is a real example one of our clients they have a bunch of segments like this they have actually 200 segments in their uh, in their market but just some of them we want to update every minute and why should this one here on the top which I uh, this has to be very fast one because things are happening as they visit the website and why should they wait for everything else to be recalculated so we identified segments which is okay to update every uh, every hour and some of them which is really just once a day they look at what the contact has done the day before so you don't have to uh, you know update it every minute because it doesn't make sense just once a day it's totally fine okay so you can actually do this uh, yourself you can say that if you have a specific segment which you want to have fast paced like for example list ID 7272 uh, this is a segment here it's called list ID if you run this command the segment update command with the list ID every minute then only that list will be uh, updated and you can actually say for all of them you can set your Chrome exactly like bam 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 I want to have this segment so often that segment so often and so on so that's gonna make you a big list but if you are working with set segments this is not such a big deal you just list all the all the things like that um, but there's another way too and uh, I'm gonna show you how you can actually dynamically create timing for your segments uh, after this Welcome back. So we were discussing how to create uh, dynamically this timing for your segments. So I'm using a solution by our agency where uh, we are assigning timings in the name. Uh, it's a special script I created and it's working really well. I've been testing it for two months, no problems at all. And actually it speeded up our segment creation a lot. This is, I would say this is a pro feature, not everybody needs it. So you might be just fine to uh, create uh, a cron job with the segment IDs or maybe you don't even need it but if you have big segments this can be a huge help and for you an easy way to to uh, time your segment so this script is running instead of the of the segment update it does the segment update itself and it's dynamically reading the name of the segment and based on the name so with these brackets uh, um, assigning a number and this number will show pretty much the same as uh, as this here so it's gonna show the timing so this for the status update will run only every 30 minutes this one every 15 minutes every minute every five minutes and this is once a day so basically if I have this type of setup it's super easy for me to to create uh, to just by naming the segments properly this is a shell script what you have to run and it will uh, completely replace your segment update um, I have a separate training how to set this up uh, if you are a supporter member of my website you can access it you can access also the script uh, this special script you won't need if you are not a pro user let's say or dealing with large amount of uh, contacts or large segments but if you do, then it's definitely gonna help you uh, to run your segments more efficiently in a very convenient way. So if you wanna learn about cron optimizing and how to run your cron job every minute, come to joykeller.com, there's an article there. Uh, it's gonna explain you exactly, uh, you have an example script, how to run your cron every minute. It also includes the part where you can prioritize email sending um, and I'm describing it in the in the article exactly how you can set that up and if you're a supporter member then you get access to the smart segment processing script and I have the training video and in your download center you can also uh, see the script itself download it and use it and if you are a supporter member you get access to premium trainings premium scripts uh, exclusive templates and also the webinar replace thanks for watching
Thank you so much for watching. I think this has been very technical, but I hope you learned something and you will be able to time your segment creation and segment processing a lot better than before. You can download the script on my website. You have to be a support level in order to get it. It's only 19 euros a month at the time of the creation of this video and you get all kinds of professional scripts. So I really think that it's worth it. Um, so now your segments are running a lot faster. Your cron job is lot, running a lot faster. And soon I'm going to be coming back with two more videos. One will be uh, focusing on email sending and the other one on campaign triggers. So I would like to manage that your Mautic runs 50 times faster than before using these pro features. So thanks for watching and see you in two weeks. Until then, keep automating. Thank <laughs> you.